Move audio. Uh, check, let me check, let me check. All right, I think. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so, good morning and welcome back to another pre market analysis. And it's getting a bit tricky, the idea. Yesterday, I covered this one, this short here in a case study. Go check that out. Um, if possible, I'll put the link in this video as well. Um, but definitely go check that one out. Simple one, straightforward one. But let's let's dive into today. And <laughs> it's going to be interesting. So we still have those previous daily highs up here. Uh, we are ready. Oops, wrong one. Uh, well, however, yesterday's high has already been taken out. Uh, the Monday's low has been taken out. We get Tuesday's low still being intact. And why this is so interesting now is because I said once we are up here, you want to see the turnaround. Well, if you look at this candle, the doji candle, the doji candle, that, that's looking quite good, right? So that's our first sign of a slowdown, not a turnaround, a slowdown. Doji is never a turnaround candle. Doji is just a slowdown candle. As you can see here, just a slowdown. There, there's no such thing as a turnaround candle. This is the turnaround candle, if, if so to say. Doji is indicating that there might be a possibility that price is about to turn around. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> so then that Doji candle is followed by this indecisive bearish candle really um where we really wanted to see that push so for us to move down here we really wanted to see that momentum the bearish momentum step in and if we go to the lower time frames it is there there is some move to the downside however it's not that impulse on the high time frame because to watch the end of the day price comes back up and we actually close all the way up here. Sorry for my nose again and my noises. Um, so annoying, the stupid pot allergy. We now tap into that area we're interested in. And we can I pull this across like this. There we go. And I think we just missed that PY, but we did tap into that 50%. So we now we can keep it but we tipped into that um 50 minute supply zone the 50 percent of that supply zone we took a previous daily highs we do have asia highs above but at this point we don't care asia highs why don't we care uh, it's always stupid that it's formed at this time 10 so what i like to do is when we are in an area where we're looking for a turnaround, we can ignore the Asia high thing. Unless previous daily lows or previous daily highs are not taken yet. But in this case, we took internal range liquidity here. So all we'll do is just put it like that. Let me make it cleaner so it's a bit more visible. So we took internal range liquidity there. <laughs> This can go, I'm not going to use that. You can use it as a kind of support and resistance zone. We'll see over here. But we took the internal range liquidity. We took previous daily highs. And we made this bearish break. So we have a new 50 minute lag we can work with. And the first entry was over here. Actually, first entry is there. Keep in mind, for this short trade, there was no, no, oh, sorry, the wrong area. Oh, I was over there. So this is where the first trade came from. Now we made a new 50 minute lag. So we broke here, high, low, lower, high. Actually, it's like lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And this 
Bullish break. But I don't feel like that's the case. I don't feel like we have a bullish break here. So what we can do is ignore that 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 um Asia high and just try to get an entry here. And what will be the entry then? The entry will come from above this area. Oops. So we've got that. Then we have a nice. There are two things you can do. First of all, you can do this. So this is your early sellers. And what you do is you take the entry. So you have a low, then you create a new high, higher low, higher high. And then over here, the structure starts to reform. So you have a low, high, bearish break. That's one thing you can do. So then you take the entry from this area. I'm not telling you you should do this. I'm just pointing out a possibility. It's no advice or anything. So five, seven, nine, seven. So something like this would be your entry. Looking good. Or in my case, because um we kind of kind of expanded that range. And we do have that confirmation in this area. You could wait for another confirmation from this five minute supply zone and see how that plays out. 50 minute high enough if you include that and see how that plays out. And those are the possible scenarios I see. You can't ignore that we still have this low to let to that led to that high. We took international liquidity on that one, so we can move higher based on that. But this one is more major, and I feel like that trade I just pointed out could be a nice trade. Um, we've got news. Oh, we've got bank holiday tomorrow. There's some news today, so tomorrow will be a slow day. But today we can, um, we'll be able to. Probably catch something. So this could be a trade. We'll just keep it on for you, so we can track it. Um, the next time we're on the charts, and see if it played out. There you go. So that's EU. <clears throat> so if you just zoom out on EU and. Break it down quickly one more time. We know where we are, right? We know that we have this dark blue one. Oh, sorry. Dark blue structure, last lag. Internal to that, we have a light blue one, which almost expands to the same size as that dark blue one, but it's still minor to that one. Um. Then we have a um, dark green one. That's the one we're following at the moment. Which is bear it is bullish, but we can't ignore uh the fact that how price moved here, that price behavior that this this week was just a fake out to induce sellers here to then move higher to then induce sellers here and then move lower. And we're gonna point that out in a second what it looks like on sorry. Give me one second. What it looks like on GU. So, um, today's play for EU is shorts from here. Then GU, and this is where the interesting stuff comes. The interesting stuff comes. So, what did we do? We took outside liquidity. We have this lag. This is our last bearish lag. We said we're following this. So we have a high, a low, a lower high, a lower low. And then we have our last bearish lag. The high, lower high that led to the lower low. Price moves up, takes out the high, wicks above. So outside liquidity taken, then gets down, takes inside liquidity, but doesn't take everything. So that's why I call it inside. It is external range, but it's still inside this leg because because of the move that happened after 
by taking inside liquidity, it build up more outside liquidity. So we got now this low and this low. Um, and when building up outside liquidity, it has to take more internal range liquidity again for the last bearish leg, which is this one. And so we take outside, inside, inside, outside. So this is what I want to test. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to backtest it. But in case of an inducement, it should look something like that. And you can clearly see here we take uh, at the moment when price is about to turn around and go lower. What do we do? We get, move up. High, low, lower high. Or actually, it's already here. So in this case, it's bullish. You can see we take inside first, then we take outside, and then we take outside. So we take out this one to build up more here. Then we take this one that's already been built up. And then we move lower to take out these. So just keep this in mind. It's not really this order. It's just the idea of it has to take something. And while taking something, it has to build up something at least on one side to move to that direction. So in this case, you can see it trickled down, but it, had, it built up more, uh, indicating that price still wants to go higher. However, it pushes down first. Then this leg doesn't have any liquidity here. It takes this liquidity. So basically for this leg, we take the internal range liquidity. Then we target the external range liquidity. And then this move doesn't have any liquidity to it. But we do build up liquidity to take out this liquidity so we can then take out this liquidity. <laughs> so move one, oops, move one, build up one, two there. While making this move, it build up liquidity here. So then we take that one and now there's no liquidity inside this leg, except for this one, of course, but that's too minor. So all that's left is this low. We got a little trend line there, but especially these two lows there, so what we do is take that low. And that's how you combine liquidity with structure. What for GU today? Um, let's look at that. My nose is literally itching. It's super annoying. Ooh, this is messy. All right. Let me quickly figure this out on the low time frames. So previous daily high has been taken out again. In an area where we're looking for a turnaround, so a bit of the same story as an EU, we don't wait for Asia highs. However, I'm saying that, but we need to break for this break here before we can look for shorts. Um, At least break here. Before we can look for shorts, it depends on the chart you're using. This is always the annoying stuff. So what I do is take my MT4 and then look at MT4, what it does. Um, so we took previous daily highs. Previous daily lows are still intact. Quite a move, if you ask me. Nice move. Oh, it's so itchy. <clears throat> so we took that. Took that. And now we have the equals here. They're on the cards. Um, took previous weekly highs as well. So what I'm looking at for today. And I need my MT... Or for this, let me check what the GU chart looks like. Give me one second. Chart. Yeah, so what I'm waiting for now. And it's quite a distance, but I have to. 
is this low to be broke broken to be taken and then i would look for shorts other than that i would wait for price to get up and above the asia highs and then i would look for shorts because this break needs to happen for me i'm looking at the charts on eu it says even 745 six seven four five so that would be around uh would be around here okay no i don't know it's lower i think it's my check six seven forty okay the low is there so that would be six seven four that's too high so around here so somewhere here price has to break something and then i can look for short but since it's, since it's not clear i would rather wait for price to get up here and then look pretty short so for gu um yeah waiting for price to get up here um i don't feel confident with a short here although it might play out at least break that 740 level and then i can look for a potential short from before asia highs um but until that happens, I wait for price to get up here and then they take the short. Oh, my nose, bro. Like, it's not just, I don't know what you call it in English. The... <laughs> in Dutch, it's called snot. It's, it's the entire <clears throat> itching to it as well. So... This is looking good. So we took that liquidity, we took that low. The low then didn't cause a high, but build up that liquidity. So build up external range liquidity, take into the range liquidity. Um, from this area that, that caused that sweep there. So this is looking neat, bro. This is looking real good. Not saying it will play out, but this is looking good. So swap that low. Just before it swept that low, look at that. It just broke above there. So we have a bullish break inducement and then the move. So that makes this a very strong area for most recent structure. So we're still tracking that most recent structure here. If we zoom out, we can still see that we tracked that most recent structure there. But with that build up, yeah, I'm looking to see price come up here now and ideally maybe shh. Rocket, rocket into there. Um, there is news today, so let's see what that brings. Um, we've got FOMC tonight, so interesting, interesting, interesting. Mm. Yeah, so I think I covered everything. The areas I'm looking at, um. I like this idea. Don't say it plays out, but I like the idea. So let's see. Uh, catch you guys later if you need anything. It was a quick one or a bit of a messy one again. The hay fever is <laughs> too distracting for me. So I tried my best. And I'll probably probably do a proper, proper breakdown again tomorrow. And there we will cover all this stuff from top down. Just take your time with it. One thing at a time and then everything will be clean and clear again. At least for me, it's clear, but I can understand that my breakdowns are a bit messy right now. So yeah, catch you guys later. If you need anything, um, trades by mouse, the Instagram. Here, you got it. Shoot me a DM. I will answer everything. I will take my time though. I'm busy. All right, peace out. Catch you guys later.